Imagine finding yourself on a battlefield, forced to fight for a cause you don't believe in. What would you do? In July 1861, Mississippi farmer Newton Knight joined up to fight for the Confederate Army in the American Civil War, a struggle between the Confederate states of the South, which fought to retain the institution of slavery, and the Unionist states of the North, which fought to abolish it. But the longer the war went on, it's likely that Knight realized he had more in common with slaves than the plantation owners who benefited from their labor. With the tide of the war turning in favor of the North, like many Union and Confederate soldiers, Knight made the decision to go absent without leave. The maximum penalty for desertion was death. But after several months on the run, Knight was arrested and jailed. His family home burned to the ground as an example to other Confederate fighters. After getting out of prison in 1863, he formed the Knight Company, a guerrilla force of fellow deserters and escaped slaves who fought against the Confederacy from within. Months later, the Confederate Army surrendered, but the fight for a better America was only just beginning. Newton Knight lived out the remainder of his life as he had fought, according to his own principles. Flouting Mississippi law, he married a freed slave, Rachel, with whom he had several children and today lies next to her overlooking the farm he tended until his death in 1922. To some, Newton Knight will always be a traitor, but to many others, he is a hero, a brave patriot who risked everything to fight for what he believed in. What's your opinion?